What's up everyone, Joe Rock here with some exciting news uh, regarding Microsoft and Xamarin. So Microsoft has acquired Xamarin and that's been posted as of yesterday. Uh, so I just want to make a quick video on you know what this means for us Xamarin developers in the long and the, the uh, short near future. So as everyone probably knows that it has been working with Xamarin, you know, Microsoft and Xamarin have been always in a good partnership and um, they've always been closely uh, working together, you know, to integrate Xamarin inside uh, Visual Studio. As of 2015, Xamarin can now be installed alongside Visual Studio 2015. Uh, it's integrated with uh, Microsoft Azure, Office 365. So they've always been really partnered together. And, and one of my questions is like, you know, when's, when's Microsoft going to buy them out? When, when are they going to acquire Xamarin? And uh, that, that's a kind of always been a lingering question uh, for at least the last year or two. And uh, it's it's finally happened. So, uh, so I just, I just want to talk about this, and uh, you know, here's a few articles that uh, that are talking about you know what's near to come. A few highlights are are what you know with this, you know, uh, Azure delivers a complete mobile app development, provides everything as a developer needs to develop and to test. So I'm 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 thinking in the future that we can see with Microsoft now having acquired Xamarin that we can really see. Uh, a lot more integration, some deep integration, you know, and there's always been, you know, Xamarin's done a great job, but I mean, the Xamarin is now in-house. So it's, we could really see it not being as Microsoft and Xamarin, but really Microsoft is Xamarin. Microsoft has Xamarin technology. And with that, I mean, the Visual Studio, the next updates, the, um, you know, who knows what to see, but I really am looking forward to more functionality with Xamarin and um, some more deeper integration with the tools, and that's really exciting. Uh, the, the next exciting thing I, that I uh, that I'm looking forward to that this is all speculation, of course, but is the the pricing. So you know, a lot of the 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 hindrance of new Xamarin developers is like, oh man, you know, it's really it is a little pricey if you're just like an indie developer. And if we come over here, here's Xamarin's website right now, as of as of today, this video recording. Uh, if we look. You know, you can do a, a starter edition, which a lot of us have tried the starter edition. It limits the app size. So as soon as you bring in some more bits from like a third party, from a NuGa package, um, you're not going to be able to use it. You know, it's, it's really small. It really is just like a get a small app and running just to see what Xamarin's all about. But it really is an ideal, you know, and that's not what Xamarin's trying to attend it for. But, uh, you know, us that we, we've tried it, we know that it's very small. And then the next purchase price is the Indie, which which of course allows you to have full fledged Xamarin, but then you got to still use Xamarin Studio. People that are used to Visual Studio uh, obviously are not going to like this. And then, but I mean, notice you know this is uh, three hundred bucks a month versus a thousand dollars, or I'm sorry, three hundred dollars for the year versus a thousand. And uh, the difference is Visual Studio integration, and that's the big one. You know, when you go into business license, this is where you get the Visual Studio integration. Well. I can't imagine now, I mean, this is all speculation, but I can't imagine that when it's my, now that Microsoft has acquired Xamarin, that they are going to charge for their software uh, within Visual Studio, or at least at this price. You know, we, obviously there's, you know, there's add-ons that you can do. There's, there's Azure, there's cloud computing, and those are all charged. Those are Microsoft technologies, but uh, they're, they, Microsoft has really been trying to push cross-platform development. And uh, we've seen that over the last year with Visual Studio Code uh, that can run on Apple and Linux. And we've seen that with them making the Android emulator. We have our Android emulator here. This is a Microsoft product that, uh, that they made for Android and it works great with Xamarin. And it doesn't just work great with Xamarin, but anything, uh, you can you know, run up uh, Android Studio and run, this on, uh, run the app on Android Studio as a true emulator for your desktop. So we've seen this cross-platform uh, you know, path that that uh, Microsoft has been taking. So, going back to what I was what I was mentioning with the pricing is that I really think that if they want to push this more, they're going to do something with this pricing. Uh, either they're going to do a community edition, like you know, like, like they did with Visual Studio, to get Visual Studio more on more platforms. Uh, Visual Studio Community, which is for each one indie developer or even small companies under a particular under a particular revenue threshold. Uh, that you can just download and you can make you know uh, paid apps for. So, will there be a Xamarin Community Edition? Uh, you know, will there be a, a this 
you know, for small developers, that's free, maybe a fair price. Will the price come down? Uh, we don't know, but I really think that it makes sense that Xamarin's next move would, would be something, I'm sorry, Microsoft's next move for Xamarin would be to do something about this pricing. Of course, when this is just Xamarin, this is their bread and butter. This is how they, um, this is this is where they make their money. You know, this is their licensing. Microsoft, obviously, uh, you know, uh, the tech giant that it is, doesn't really need to let this be its bread and butter. This is their ticket. Xamarin, them purchasing uh, Xamarin is their ticket to the mobile, the mobile world, the cross-platform world. And, um, you know, it, and it has been, and them purchasing it is really just like the final stage of really dedicating themselves to it. So to do that would be to do something with this pricing to really urge more and more people to use it and to enterprises not have to use it and um, to use it and not have to, you know, spend a uh, arm and leg to really get to it. Um, so I think that would be huge, huge. And maybe that's a plan. That'd be great for us, you know, um, really great for us salmon developers to, to bring that down and to have more functionality, deeper integration, like I said, really looking forward to it. Uh, I bring up this Xamarin Evolve is coming up in uh, April. And I really think that, you know, we're going to hear a lot about uh, the future technologies and the future plans now that Microsoft has acquired Xamarin, what's going to happen in Xamarin Evolve 16. So be sure to take a look at this. This is in a couple months as of today. Uh, there's going to be some a lot of information, I think, from Evolve that they're going to release. And they're also going to release a... Uh, some more information I think in the near future that it says here in this article and if you read this article there's even some more stuff as well it says uh there's a build conference coming up in a few weeks that they're going to release some more plans and um, also the evolve like I mentioned here so you know this is just a quick overview like, there's not really a lot of it's just speculation it, it's just happened but I kind of want to make you guys aware you know, now you can be in tune to what's going on and uh really I, I, I see only great things coming uh, deeper integration, maybe better pricing, uh, you know, some things that I, I might not be thinking of, but um, I really don't see how this is a wrong move by Microsoft and how this will be, this will be, this will be just great and beneficial to us developers. And um, it's really going to be uh, really exciting to see what, what, what Microsoft has in plan for, for Xamarin in the near future. All right, guys, uh, just wanted to make you guys aware of that. Uh, super excited for it, so stay tuned with that. And thanks for watching.